Hello everybody, I'm Daniel back with the Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. This is part 9. In the last part, we defeated the evil forces of Hyrule Castle and entered the Dark World. So, yeah. Now we're off to the Dark Palace. And the Dark Palace is pretty much the Eastern Palace in the Dark World. In here, we saw our old great fairy. I just realized I'm full healed from monsters. And, yeah. It's a different puzzle, though, to get there, so it's not quite the same. For this, you will need 100 rupees, and I think that's about it. Whoa. I'm gonna say, I don't think this is it. <laughs> what is even in here? Alright. Well, now I went through that. Weirdness. I don't know. Over here. It's, a, it's an odd little maze. I must admit. Where am I even going? Isn't it right there? Those things do like eight hearts of damage. I just lied though, but there. Follow the arrow. So for the maze, it's really actually on my screen it's hard to see, but not for you. There's some dots, pretty much like inside these grass spots, and that's actually where you're able to walk. Um, I'll probably put if if I remember this, like, someone can remind me in the comment to put an annotation, and, like, it'll be a speech bubble thing, and the arrow will be kind of pointing to the dots, and that's pretty much how you know how to navigate through the maze. On my, on my TV screen, they're harder to see, but I'm so good I just got this whole maze memorized. I say going the wrong way. No pigs. So, yeah. Up here, all of a sudden, you find a monkey. I'm Kiki, the monkey Kiki. I love rubies more than anything. Can you spare me ten rubies? So, give him ten rubies. Kiki, Kiki, Kiki. Good choice. I will accompany you for a while. Kiki, Kiki. Yeah, I'm part monkey, so I can speak their native tongue pretty well. God, these guys are mine. All right, up here, we can't enter. Kiki Ki, if you give me a hundred rupees, I will open the entrance for you. Kiki Ki. You have to give him the hundred rupees, because there's no other way you can open it. So pretty much what he does is he steps down on that other button. And the stairs come. And he just kinda sits up there. But if you leave, he's not there anymore. Alright, so now we're inside the the dark dark palace. I don't know what they called it. Um, I'll tell you that these palaces are a lot harder than the beginning three. I just did some weird loop. Just get away from me. There we go. Already making that money back. So, go to the far left side, and over here there's a key. Actually, no. I lied. There's a button that opens the... Yeah, you saw. So... Yeah. There. There. Hmm. What's happening? Then I don't know if it just totally froze up for you, too. Oh, it's because I have the internet open. I forgot about that. Alright, now hopefully it should be working better, and if not, I'm very sorry, I'll fix it in the next part. No, stop it. I just think it's... I don't know. It's probably because I've been recording a bunch. I don't think there's anything needs to be done here yet. No. We don't want to go through that warper pad yet. So... I guess just push the statue over. 
go through the key door. Up here, there's turtles. We cannot do anything involving the turtles yet. What we can do is push this block down here and follow it down. Now you can step on this and get a small key from that chest, and monsters fall from the ceiling, just run. That's about all we can do. Now step in the top order, I'll take you back here. Not really a big deal, just kind of a little loop around. That's about it. And now we're going to go on the left side. And bomb the path close enough. I hope. Yep. Jump on down. Down here. Arrow's bomb. Whatever. I actually don't think we're supposed to be up here yet. Nope. Alright. Up here. Big key. No bigs. <laughs> I got it. Literally, I don't know. Usually I have trouble finding the big key. I don't know why I can't just remember to bomb the floor with a small key in it on hand. Man, I haven't saved in a while. <sighs> what a crazy game. For the Super Nintendo, this is a really great game. Kill, die, win. Alright. Alright, I know where that's from. Whatever. So, make it so blue is down. And then we're gonna run around and do a loop de loop to the right side. And instead of jumping down, we're just going to keep going. Because then that'll put us with this chest and a ledge that we can jump down. So now there's a small key. What? I've never had that happen before. Where he just kind of walks out. Wow. Nice. Alright. We actually can't do anything in there yet. So... I actually lied. We didn't have to actually go around that. Now we have to go around. So. Let's go around. Yeah, da 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 da. Don't fall. Don't run right off again. You do need that small key, though, to get up here. Now in this room you just want to run, because the floor will eventually start coming in under us. Which is really bad. Those things are always annoying. Nice bomb supply though. I think this is the compass. Oh, I really don't want to be in this position right now. Come over here. Oh crap. Yep. So, I think it's the right door you're supposed to go in. Or I'm thinking about a different part of the whole dungeon anyway. So there's lots of rupees here. For some reason, Link's too stupid to pick them up. One, yeah, let's say one of these has a small key and the other one just has more rupees. it back up. Sounds weird, I guess, kind of. Not really, but still. Let's grab our key and take it over hither. Oh no! Little fire-breathing Komodos are trying to kill me. I think there's bombs, yeah. Bombs that we don't have enough, have enough, have enough space for.
but we do need bombs in general. And over here, I don't think there's anything important, but I obviously am a liar, so... Pick up that small key. And open up the chest to get the hammer. That's all for this part. I'm Daniel. See you guys in the next part.